Lesson 8, Adding Formulas to Reports Part 1, Creating Report with Formula Create the standard report. Delete the car field and then delete the model field. Right click the formula fields and choose new. Type formula name and click OK. Expand the SQL ODBC and then expand the cars. Drag car and model field down to the formula entry area, to build up a custom formula. This formula concatenates the car field with a blank space, and then concatenates the result with the model field. Click check button, then click save button and close window. Drag the car and the model from the Formula Fields node of the Field Explorer to the Details section. Format the report. Part 2, Creating a Custom Function Create the Standard Report Delete fields, surname, name, car and model. Format the report.
Right click formula fields and click new. Type formula name and click OK. Right click the report custom functions branch on the workshop tree and choose new. Type function name and click the use editor. The two parameters, X and Y, represent the two names you want to concatenate. Both are declared as string variables. Click the check button and then click the save button. Click the concat with space formula. Build expression with concat function. Click the check button and then click the save and close button. Drag the concart with space from the formula fields node of the field explorer to the details section. Part 3, using a standard functions. Create the second formula. Build the formula with a standard function like uppercase and lowercase. Click the check button and then click the save and close button. Drag the concart 2 from the formula fields node of the field explorer to the details section. Format the field. Part 4, using a formatting formula and if expression. Double click the formula. Expand the formatting formulas node in the workshop tree. Expand the details. Right click the price and choose new formatting formula. Select font color, and then click the use editor button. Type the expression. The if then control structure is useful when you want to do one thing if a condition is true.
click the check button and then click the save and close button. Part 5, if then else expression. The if then else control structure is useful when you want to do one thing if a condition is true and another thing if the condition is false. Part 6, Select Case Expression. Use the select case control structure when there are more than two alternatives to choose from and you want to do a different thing in each case. Part 7, for loop expression. Create the new formula. The for loop is the best tool to use when you want to execute a section of code a predetermined number of times. Suppose you have a character field named car in a view named vcars, and you want to know how many instances of the letter L it contains. Drag the loop function from the formula fields node of the field explorer to the details section.
Part 8, Creating the Running Totals Fields Right-click the Running Total Fields and click the New. In the Running Total Name box, replace the default name with Price 300. In the Available Tables and Fields pane, select Price from the Report Fields area. Then click the arrow button pointing to the Field to Summarize box. Select the Count Options. Click the User Formula and type the formula. Click the Save and Close button and then click OK. Drag the Price 300 from the Running Total Fields node of the Field Explorer to the Report Footer section. Do you want to learn new skills in the fastest and most effective way? Visit Learn with Video Tutorials.com